The last week of January has not been kind to the cats. Welcome into the Matthew Mitchell Show presented by the Kentucky Beef Council. I'm Christy Thomas alongside the coach. Coach, you hate to talk about losses, but you've started a stretch. Four games um, of five that will be on the road. But first you got going with Vanderbilt at Memorial Coliseum, and they were tough. They were. They, they really played hard, and uh, Vanderbilt's been playing hard all year and uh, was a, a tough game. And you know, Christy had a chance to win it, but uh, w weren't able to get it done. But Michaela had a big uh, offensive game, and she's been playing well offensively. You know, I, I thought that uh, really the second quarter really got us, but there's Janae. Janae played really well down the stretch, and uh, we just have to stay at it, you know. This is a, a game where we really saw a lot of back and forth. A good first quarter for Kentucky. Vanderbilt responded in the second quarter. You came back in the third quarter, so there was a lot of back and forth. This is a play right before the end of the half that you really needed. Well, you know, we built a nine-point lead in the first quarter, then we gave that back, and it was tied at the half. And, you know, we just uh, really struggled with Vanderbilt's four-guard lineup. They played four guards, and uh, we, we, we had a hard time defending the three-point line. Ten made threes. Krista Reed had a big, big game there. Uh, that was a tough, tough play with uh, shot clock winding down, jab step, and lost by two. But uh, our team just has to keep working and, and trying to get better. Then you go on the road to Florida, always a tough place to play. Well, it is, and uh, there's Alyssa Rice making a basket, and she uh, made a couple of baskets there in the game, and there's a big, big play by Michaela when we were uh, struggling in the game, and we, we uh, just had a hard time taking care of the ball in the game, uh, turned it over uh, an unbelievable amount of times, but, uh, you know, the kids hung in, and we had a chance uh, to tie it at the end of the game, and uh, just couldn't get that done. And uh, Florida is such a good team and plays so tough and plays so strong on the defensive end, and we really struggled taking care of the ball. But uh, we just have to keep working uh, on ball security and our defense, and you know we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Another big game for Michaela Epps as she had 27 points. Well, she's almost 6,000 miles away from home, but she fits right in as a Wildcat, and she's the last player this season to be on Coach Mitchell's 30-second shot clock. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in, everybody. I am honored. It is my honor to be standing next to one of the best human beings on this planet, Evelyn Akator, Jr. from Lagos, Nigeria. How are you today? I'm doing good. Well, you're going to have to speak up a little bit, Evelyn. I just said <laughs> you're one of the best human beings in the world. You have to own that and you have to speak up. We are so happy you're at Kentucky. Yeah, me too. It's, it's been to be here. It's been fun so far. Yes, sir. Tell us about Lagos, Nigeria. 3.7 million people. It was just reported. How many of those people do you know? No. You know all uh, 3.7 million? No. I hear you're very popular in that city. No question. Not. You're not? No. I'm not. Uh, I can't believe it. My... I can't believe that. I, I would think you're very popular in Lagos. What's the best thing about you? Can tell us about Lagos. Um, so many things to do. Is it Lagos or Lagos or? Lagos. Lagos. Yes. Am I saying it close to right? You're right. Okay. okay. Lagos. So many things to do. Now tell us, uh, let me tell you something about this woman. Unbelievable chef. <laughs> Unbelievable cook. How did you learn to cook so well? Um, I learned from my mom. And well, I didn't learn from time though. I love playing. She really <laughs> taught you well. Tell them about that chicken and rice, or what was it, rice? Yeah, you... rice and chicken sauce. Chicken sauce, chicken stew, unbelievable. You are, you are top notch. And getting rebounds, I mean, my <laughs> gracious. You are just doing it, girlfriend. You are getting it done. So proud of you. Is there anything you'd like to tell the people out there about how much you love me and how much you love uh, playing at Kentucky? And, I'm an all-around great guy. Would you, you you would agree with all the statements? Yeah, I do. Good. I really do agree. I like that. It's a great. We're so as I've told you many times, we're so glad you're at Kentucky. I'm glad to be here too. This is Evelyn Akator. I'm Coach Mitchell. It's a 30-second shot clock. Evelyn, really, such a joy to be around. She is one of the best people I've ever known. We're so proud. She's at Kentucky. She works so hard. Uh, she gives so much to everybody, and she is going to be a great player. She already is a great player for us, but she's even a better person and just love Evelyn Akator. Sky's the limit for her. Well, coming up, we'll see if the room dogs can bring a little more energy for everybody's favorite uncle. That's not likely. The Guitar Tip of the Week is next. 
The Matthew Mitchell Show is presented by the Kentucky Beef Council and brought to you by Central Bank, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Papa John's, and by UK Healthcare. The guitar tip of the week is brought to you by McGee's Bakery. Open eight. Everybody, it's another edition of Guitar Tip of the Week. I'm joined this week by the tactful, the talented. Do we ever say anything besides speedster for you? Why don't we talk about your amazing intellect <laughs> and great academic record here at the university? Yeah. How about the tactful, the talented, and the amazingly intelligent person from the DMV, Taylor Murray, and are we sure the mountains are proud of you? Do we really have any way of gauging that? I have no idea. Macy Mars. Should we run a poll like what uh, Trump and Hillary and all of them are running all these polls to see who and what they need to say for the presidential race? Maybe we need to run a poll to see if you really are the pride of the mountains. Maybe we shouldn't just say that. Uh, just go willy-nilly and just say you're pride of the mountains. We need to get on that poll. I forgot one thing. Whoop! 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 That's the one you wanted? Yes. Okay. Time for the game show uh, Sweep of the Nation. Ask the Room Dogs questions from T.J. Davidson from Wingo, Kentucky. T.J. wants to know how the Room Dogs balance playing basketball and academics. On to the shout-out! Salute and Anchorage, Lack of the, uh, Alaska, one and only Mimo Strauss, Tim Sharp in Nashville, Tennessee's big fan of the Cats and the show. Take it away, Macy. To Leslie Watts Stevenson from Lexington, Kentucky, who loves the Matthew Mitchell show, and to Linda Smith from Knoxville, Tennessee, who loves that the show is online this year so she can watch it. She can watch it. It's in high definition, too. I don't know if you've noticed that. Continue, Taylor. To Katie Yilton from Butler, Kentucky, who is a huge UK Hoops fan and comes to as many games as she can. And to everybody, <laughs> and to everybody's favorite Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay from Gallatin, Tennessee. <laughs> and to everybody's favorite Uncle Bobby. And Aunt Kay. I don't know uh, Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay. Maybe I should have just stayed back after the Middle Tennessee game and we had visited for about 30 minutes so they could get more excited about everybody's favorite uncle and Bo Aunt, Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay. But we'll just keep working on it. Um, let me ask you this. What do you think about these T-shirts? If you didn't get to wear them every week, would you be writing it? You, well, first of all, you see that Facebook page? Yes. yes. No, you don't. Would you write in? Because you... It's an honor to wear these, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's why all of our friends, they need to write in uh, to get this T-shirt. T-shirt this week goes to Jane Wicks of Butler, who loved the kale salad that was made in the coach's kitchen earlier this season. Quit bringing up the coach's kitchen segment. This is guitar tip of the week. But we'll send you a T-shirt anyway. We got a complaint, by the way, a couple weeks ago that we sent the wrong size out. Evan, is that your fault? I think that's your fault, Evan. I don't think Slacks would have ever done that. You see that Facebook page? No, you don't. Uh, right in, get you a t-shirt, and that's the Guitar Tip of the Week. Play! Play! The Guitar Tip of the Week was brought to you by McGee's Bakery. Coming up, Janae and some of her teammates go behind the blue to tell us why they chose the blue. I chose UK because of the way they play. I thought it would be an easy transition for me. Coming from high school, we had similar styles. We were more of a defensive first uh, team. And when I came on my visit, um, the girls that were on the team at the time really made me feel welcome. And uh, I could tell it was like a sisterhood and a family. And that was something I was looking for. The reason I chose Kentucky is because it was close to home and I'm real big, uh, big fan of my mom, so I couldn't leave my mom. And uh, for me, I believe that all Kentucky kids uh, belong at Kentucky. And I was a Kentucky kid who had the dream to play in Kentucky, so I had to fulfill that. I chose Kentucky because I really wanted to learn how to play aggressively and how to play great defense. And I knew this was the perfect program to do that. I chose Kentucky um, when I first came here. It just felt like family oriented. 
Um, I bonded, I bonded with the team very well, and um, I just felt that this was um, the right place that God had called me to be. I chose the University of Kentucky because I felt like the atmosphere was really good. Um, for me, family is a big part, and they just made me feel like very welcome, and um, they had great support. And just for for me, I just feel like that's that, that was the tools that I needed to decide to come to the University of Kentucky. I chose Kentucky because. I've always grown up being a fan of Kentucky and watching the other girls come through and it's always been a dream of mine. It's close to home and all my family went here so it's just home for me. I picked Kentucky because I feel this is the best place for me. Plus I love blue. I love blue. The Coach's Kitchen is brought to you by the Kentucky Beef Council. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. We're so glad you joined us. I am Hall of Fame chef, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by celebrity chef, beautiful wife, Jenna, looking radiant as always. You know, this weekend's the big game. Yeah. The big games this weekend out there in San Francisco, California. Actually, it's in Santa Clara, but out there at the 49ers Stadium. Have you ever been to the new uh, stadium out in San Francisco? I don't think so. You are correct. You've never been there. Are you a big San Francisco 49ers fan? Yes. Well, they're not in the Super... I mean, they're not in the big game this year. They're not playing in the big game. It'll be uh, someone other than the 49ers in the big game. Now, will you be watching the big game this year? Yes. With a big crowd of friends and family. Yes. So you got to have some appetizers yes. for the big game. So you told me that this is a great appetizer. What's in the coach's kitchen today? Uh, well, it's one of my favorite appetizers, and it's the easiest um, you can do, and it's healthy. There's, um, you're saying there's nothing easier than this appetizer. Well, I'm sure. Oh my! You gosh. said it's the easiest appetizer. Oh gosh. Okay. Anyway, it's the easiest cooking. Couldn't you one. get some of that? Like a block of cheese. Cheese okay, and that's melt not it down. That's not, well, okay. listen. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me talk. I was just okay. fact checking. So these are so. so Shishito. Uh, well, Shishito. You know what I like about them? What's that? Is that it has sh sh shito. You say sh twice. Sh yeah. Sh shito. Yeah. There's a sh shito. shito. So it sounds yeah. like you're. Sh yeah. Shushing so someone. Well, peppers. who would you want to shush? You shouldn't do that. The kids, that stunts their growth. That stunts their no, emotional not, development. They're, they're not and here. They're, they're actually uh, not, don't need to be shushed. You don't want to shush. Okay. Sh so anyways, now we. Now, um, let me ask you this about the shishito peppers. Where do they, they're an East yeah. Asian yeah. pepper. Yeah. And so what is East Asia. Are you up on your Asian geography in the continent is of it, Asia? Is it Vietnam? Vietnam? Yes. Jenna. Oh my God. They sending me to Vietnam. <laughs> is this what a movie is that from? Show? What movie is that from? So weird. Forrest Gump. Gump. Love Forrest Gump. If the big game turns out to be a clunker, go on one of the streaming services or get into your old Blu-ray and watch Forrest Gump during the big game. And they say that a they're tip of shishito me. pepper looks like a lion. A lion. And actually they refer to... Well, a, tra a short translation for yeah. lion in Japanese is shishito. But Have I don't think Japan... Yet, I don't think Japan is East Asia. I think it's... what. Well, I'm all confused. Well, it is the Japanese, I think. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So what are we? How are we, we're going to saute these? We got to get over to. Let's yeah. get over to the stove. The camera's over here at the stove now, and it's time to saute the peppers. What's yes. the first step? Well, we have a wok. We're going to get nice and hot uh, with a little um, olive oil and a little chipotle. And this is a little chipotle olive oil that I like. How much? That's good. Okay. Now we want it. It should have been hotter, but we're. So we just want to get it really hot until they uh, get a little charred, not burnt, but a little charred, so a little black. So that'll be about 10 minutes. So then do you just like, uh, well, when, when, when it's sauteing, do you just... Spatula, like oh, you a don't? One. No. No, you just can do this in a wok. Oh, wow. Well, let me try that. Okay. So th I this will be about 10 minutes. So this is a wok. And all you do is so saute with a little olive oil and salt, and that's it. And then they're so yummy. Boy, it'd be awesome if this thing were really, uh, you know, boiling up and flaming up, right? That's re usually what it should have been doing, right? Yeah, I should have turned it on earlier. Mm, it's but disappointing. But it'll still, we'll have the finished product. 
Oh, I can hear it sizzling now. I can hear it sizzling now. Maybe we could just sit here. Now, do you do you realize that when you say the word wok, W-O-K, and that is for uh, an Asian style of cooking. Is that am I correct on that? A wok, you wok stuff. This you is put, the type of pan. Okay, it's wok. time of pan. Like right, this is do you a realize, bowl. That's right, a right, wok. Do you realize that you also say I'm going to take the kids for a wok? Well, Don't you think those two words should be pronounced differently? There Walk should be. There might and be walk. some people that think that you talk funny. Well, we're back and look at those peppers. They've been in the wok. Yep, just with um, really hot wok, olive oil, and salt, and... Um, well, Chipotle olive oil, too. Yep, and you just mm. want to char them, and they're awesome. Mm. So easy and healthy. So And easy. then you want to put them on a, um, a plate to drain the oil. This might replace nachos. Ha! Huh. See a no. Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. We hope you enjoy the big game this week and hope your team wins. And what do we want to tell the good folks out there? We'll see you next week. The Coach's Kitchen was brought to you by the Kentucky Beef Council. Coming up, Coach is breaking down the fundamentals of passing. The tip of the week is next. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners, Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics, and Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Coach's Tip of the Week, welcome in everybody. It's time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I have back with me for the second time this season. I'm just so delighted. From Bratislava, Slovakia, Ivana Jakobsova, how are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing great. We're going to talk about passing today. Can you give us passing in Slovakian? Prihralka. So we're working on that, right? And what I want to tell you about the fundamentals of passing, you see a lot of fancy passing going on sometimes if you're watching a pro game or sometimes college players get real fancy with passes. What I want you to be with passing is very fundamental. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to get your hands on the side of the basketball and I want you to get your thumbs behind the basketball, all right? So right now you can't see my thumbs because my thumbs are behind the basketball. So that's how I want you to hold it and every time you pass, Pass, what we want to work on as we learn to be a good passer is stepping into each pass. All right, so we're going to show you three basic passes that I want you to hold the ball the same way on all three of them. All right, so the first one is just a good chest pass. This is a great one to work on ball handling and get yourself going. Is we're just going to step to each other and really focus on stepping to the pass. And as you see, we're both we are following through. We are following through on all of our passes, just like on a shot, and that'll get you some power there. Another one that's real important is the overhead pass. You may have to throw this when you are playing against a zone and you may have to skip past the ball or a post player you may have to outlet the basketball. So the overhead pass is really important. And then the last one that I want to work on is just a good bounce pass. Still thumbs behind the ball. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to step into this pass and I'm going to make sure that that is delivered with a lot of crisp snap of the wrist. And the reason that is we don't want lazy passes. You want a real strong passes so you can take care of the basketball so you can never work too much on your fundamentals stay in solid if you become a really good passer your coach is going to find some playing time for you work hard on that as the coach's tip of the week you need to download the free Kentucky Wildcats game day app. You can listen to the live radio broadcast when you're on the go, in the stands, or at home. You can track live stats during the game. And guess what? It's free. Just search Kentucky Game Day in your app store or Google Play and click on women's basketball icon. So, Coach, this is a scenario where you have to go on the road for a couple of tough games, coming off two losses. So, really, where is this team's psyche at this point? Well, we just have to keep working. We have to keep working uh, on our defense and trying to get better, Christy. And uh, there's still a lot of basketball have to play. We're a young team. Just need to keep working on the fundamentals and get better and uh, see where we go in postseason. Absolutely. It's hard to believe that this is we're in this February stretch, kind yeah. of the down the home stretch of the SEC schedule. It is, but we, we can uh, make a lot happen here at the end of the season with a young team. Just keep playing, keep working hard, keep defending better, and uh, we'll get where we want to be. All right. Sounds good. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. <laughs> 
The Matthew Mitchell Show was presented by the Kentucky Beef Council and brought to you by Central Bank, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, Papa John's, and by UK Healthcare. 